Good afternoon, Penn Trafford, and welcome to What's Up, Warriors. I'm Hallie. And I'm Sam. We have four great stories for you today, so let's begin. Within our high school, there are many fun and exciting classes available to take. For example, the preschool program here at Penn Trafford falls under that title. Preschool not only gives high school students the chance to interact and play with children, but also to experience responsibility, patience, and the behavior of them. Here's Emily Davis and Sydney Milko with the story. The preschool program is one that is full of excitement and changes. We wanted to get more information on those changes, so we went to Ms. Sanoski with some questions. Uh, our new preschool location will be where the old foods lab was. It uh, won't be the same size, it'll have all the same equipment, uh, hopefully colorful and engaging. We'll have a new outside play area. I'm excited, I'm excited for, I'm always excited for change in the right direction. Change is good. We now will have a prerequisite for the preschool classes. We would like for all the high school students to have a very um, in-depth background of the learning abilities. It'll be called child development. So really what we did was we took the magic years and the understanding children class and combined them into one. I think this class is great for high school students because it's an interactive class. You actually get to work with the children as opposed to just sitting there reading about children. You are engaged hands-on with the child. I could honestly say that almost every student that has taken this class has given me a lot of positive feedback. So I highly recommend it. The new child development class and location are cool to hear about, but the old stuff is just as interesting. Our high school students work with the children Tuesdays through Thursdays almost every week and have new experiences daily. We went to junior and preschool two student Emily Jones for her opinion on what it's like to work with the kids. Hi, I'm here with Emily Jones today to ask her a few questions about being in the preschool. So Emily, how do you like being in the preschool class? Oh, I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. And what is your favorite part about being in it? My favorite part is the things that the little kids say because they're really funny and they can ma really make your day. Um, so how would this benefit high schoolers from ta for taking this? Well, you would definitely learn a lot of responsibility taking this class because you're taking care of 20 or so children. The preschool class seems like only fun and games for the high schoolers and teacher, but a lot of thought and effort go into the everyday schedule. That includes responsibilities, organization, planning events, patience, and proper behavior with each child. We are going to talk to one of the preschooler's parents to get her input on the preschool program and what we do. I'm here with one of the preschooler's parents today. Can you tell me your name, please? Hi, Kimberly Stefano. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, so Tanner's new to the preschool this semester, correct? Yes, he is. And how do you think he likes that? I think he loves preschool right now. He's very nervous the first two weeks. Absolutely loves it now. That's good. Um, so how do you feel about the high schoolers working with him? Oh, I love it. That's one of the main reasons I took Tanner to this preschool and he was accepted at this one is because I love that there's a lot of um, students working with him. A lot more one-on-one -on -one interaction. So there you have it. The preschool classes are a lot of fun as long as you stick with your responsibilities and act appropriately. That wraps up this story, Sydney Milko and Emily Davis. With many clubs to choose from at the school, it may be hard to choose which one to join for next year. However, if you like to paint, draw, or just be creative, then our club may be the best club for you. This club provides students with a fun environment where ideas can be, can be implemented onto a variety of formats. Here's Zora Locke and Annabelle Heiss for more information. The art club is one of the fastest growing clubs in the school. So we sat down with a couple of the members to find out a little more about it. We started off by asking what their favorite part of the club is. I always look forward to Friday night football games when we paint faces because, you know, the middle school kids get so excited, you know, on whiteout night or um, breast cancer awareness night with the pink, you know, or just the good old green and gold. That's always fun. Um, We've been to Falling Water a couple times, which is awesome, always. What else do we do? Oh, and the Day of the Dead face painting, you know, for um, the Spanish kids can get extra credit or bonus points or whatever if they walk around school all day with their face painted. So we get here early, we paint faces, and uh, it's fun. 
Um, I actually like thinking of different ideas that we could do. Um, so basically going on Pinterest and looking through the different ideas. We then asked Ms. Chrysalei how she saw the students' reaction to the club was. It's pretty good. I mean, we always have, you know, when we go on a field trip, we have a full bus, which is great. Um, we have a lot of uh, different levels of artistic interest and, you know, um, things people like to do. So, you know, we try to hit it all, but um, it, it's been pretty good. This, this past year, we've had more members than ever before, which is a good thing. So I only expect it to grow so we could do bigger and bigger things. We get to do art projects outside of school that aren't really a grade and they get to just express their ideas through whatever material they're using. We also made sure to ask them about their biggest project so far, the bottle cap mural. We are doing great. We're going to use one of these recycled bulletin boards as our background. Okay, we have um, the the draft, like the cartoon they're called, you know, like the the um, thumbnail sketch it would be, except it's a full-size thumbnail sketch. The drawing's done. We just have to prime it, get it painted, and then start screwing the bottle caps down. As you can see, the Art Club offers a wide variety of opportunities. How about next year you consider signing up? Um, join Art Club, take art classes whenever you can, okay? We're all friendly souls, and, and you'll have a good time and um, get those elective credits, so thank you. Don't forget to check out the Art Club's website at artsonia.com. Back to you guys in the studio. The auditorium has been home to countless shows and memories over the past several decades. With many renovations going on in the school, the auditorium will have a complete makeover that will hold much more inspiration following the years to come. We're going to take a look at what the auditorium means to those who have performed there. Here's the story. The auditorium has been home to many performances and inspired many futures. It has paved the way for many careers and memories that will last a lifetime. What does this auditorium mean to me? Well, we, I've spent hours, hours, hours here uh, for fall plays and for chorus concerts, which are like an all-day event because you have practice and then you have the concert and you got to work with the soloists. And then I've done 22 musicals here, either being the rehearsal pianist or conducting the pit. And again, uh, I spent many evenings here, and um, I've probably seen these kids more than I've seen my own kids over the last 22 years. Um, I've been working band for four years, so there's two concerts a year, sort of say. So you could say I've been in here eight times performing. A lot of memories on here because my senior year from marching band, and I've been in band for four years, so. I mean, it's kind of heartfelt when you're in here, knowing what memories were played here. The auditorium is basically my home away from home. Um, I've done countless projects, homework assignments in these seats at um, a thousand rehearsals. I've gone through a labor of love in eight shows and countless chorus concerts and I the only thing I can say is that I'm just really happy that I get to be part of the last performance that happens on the Penn Trafford stage. What's playing at the Roxy? I'll tell you what's playing at the Roxy. A picture about a Minnesota man so in love with a Mississippi girl that he sacrifices everything and moves all the way to Biloxi. So this auditorium is really special to me. It's one of the first places I realized that I belonged. And then I knew I belonged on that stage. So it's really special and I'm sad to see it, you know, be destroyed. I originally went to Greensburg Central Catholic for freshman and sophomore years, and I decided to transfer to Penn Trafford actually because of the theater. Um, when I was a sophomore, I came to see both The Hobbit and Guys and Dolls, and sitting in the audience looking up at the stage, it was just amazing the things that you guys could do, at least compared to what I had at Greensburg Central Catholic. It was it was crazy, and I was, I was blown away, especially for someone who wanted to do theater as a living. 
it was powerful. So, yeah, I guess the auditorium does mean a lot to me since it was here that I decided that I actually wanted to transfer schools. And with that, the auditorium began to be taken apart and rebuilt for future generations and fond memories to come. The topic of discussion at an astronomy club meeting isn't always about the stars and planets. Let's give it to John Bellotti and Dylan Baker for the details. The planetarium. Before it became a classroom, barely any of the student body even knew where it was. The astronomy club meets here every week, and the members are quite familiar with the room. But what happens here? What sort of magic goes on in an astronomy club meeting? The answers actually might surprise you. What happens in the astronomy club? In astronomy club, we tend to get together to learn about everything that's in space. Stars, planets, galaxies, concepts about stars, planets, and galaxies, and constellations, and anything else the students are interested in, really. The atmosphere of the typical meeting is utter chaos. I believe that most of the members of the astronomy club are scientifically minded. We think like scientists, but we're also all teenagers, and as such, we uh, the combining two aspects of learning about science and uh, the usual teenager uh, chaos creates a very interesting atmosphere where uh, it's basically uh, we're learning but we're learning at random things. With the renovations in the planetarium being a classroom this year uh, we don't have the seats set up as we would for public shows. We've had some issues. That's another reason we haven't really had shows this year at all. Um, my uh my uh, favorite project that we've ever done, um, for me personally, is when we developed a uh, telescope. Is uh, that we built a telescope. Building a telescope from scratch. Very, very cool to be able to put something together like that and then be able to use the product that you produce to do something within your club. Basically what we did is that we got a giant cardboard pipe and um, got a... Um, two sets of mirrors and we were able to actually focus a tip a very capable uh, telescope that we we're actually be able to use successfully had our own star party to test it out so it will see Jupiter very very nicely I continue to show up for two reasons one I view the uh astronomy club as a great opportunity to expand uh, intellectual knowledge. I have a craving for uh, knowledge of most sorts. I'm a scientific person, so um, the club allows me to expand this. And the second would be that the club members are the closest thing I have to social life. I have I experience a great amount of enjoyment in being around with them. Uh, I feel that uh, the club members are... Uh, we're, I feel like we're pretty close. We're good, we're, most of us are good friends with each other. And, you know, I'll be sad once I have to leave next year as I'm a senior. The Astronomy Club doesn't seem like such a bad deal. That's all we have. Thanks for listening. All righty, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching What's Up, Warriors. I'm Hallie. And I'm Sam. Have a fabulous day, Pinch Trafford.